Yo, yo, it's Rangulius here. You are watching Wrench Feels Like Playing Underspace. We're back at it again. Um, last time we left off, we uh, met up with Lauren, finally. Um, talked about a couple things, and then we headed off to a place, um, like a graveyard-type place of the... Um, the rust rust lords i guess it was kind of more or less a graveyard of rust lords and um fought a a being called the gravekeeper um he was one of the only things i guess that can kill a rust lord i'm not entirely sure why we decided we have to kill it but maybe it was maybe it's protecting the rust lords i, I was i'm not entirely sure but we ended up killing it um and then one of the rust lords or maybe some of the rust lords um contacted us trying to get us to swap sides trying to convince us that we're on the wrong side and that uh we should be helping them obviously that's not something we're gonna do mainly because they blew up our convoy and ruined our life so we're kind of at that point where it's like nah nah we're gonna we're gonna kind of do our own thing here um so I just um, docked onto Lauren's ship and uh, kind of restocked everything, kind of got some new items equipped. And now we're going to head back, talk to him, and I guess maybe uh, continue on with the story here. So he's Dr. Handmark Lauren. Exospatial engineering expert. He's a desperate man. Thought he'd be taller. So, I'm more ship than sh ship driver now. Sometimes I wonder if I've even got memories left that are actually mine. Too many dreams of grinding gears. Do you mind if I ask questions? I've ruined your life enough that I think I've you've entitled you're entitled to answers that are and beyond. What do you want to know? I guess I want to know more about you. Well, there's not much to say. I studied physics at Demandre University University, graduated with honors and worked for Adredhan Archives plotting star charts. Eventually, I transferred over to the UHC, who were more willing to fund research into transpatial esoterics, which led me to climb the ranks of their scientists. And then I was invited to join a conspiracy, and when I had my doubts, the leader of said conspiracy tortured me for centuries inside another dimension. Oh shit. Not much of a life, honestly. How did you meet the speaker? Decamel was a member of the Ten in, the, in my time. Not many other star chasers are willing to test the early Jub Gate prototypes. It was he who vouched for me. In some ways, I only joined the Rust Lord conspiracy because of his support. But I don't blame him for what happened. Any other questions? You and the speaker both love to talk. Tell me about your friends. What did you people call us? The Triangles? Dumb name. We called ourselves the Desperate Men. Each of us pledged to end the Rust Lords, even if we had to give our lives to do it. All of them were experts in their respective fields, the greatest minds in the galaxy. All of them victims of the Rust Lord's genocides. And now, I'm the only one left to remember them. Right? I suppose you want to know more about them? Yeah, because we blew up the engine and the hook. I'm not too sure if we blew up the tower. Her name was Zakir. An expert in transference and signatures. We owe a bit of initial victories to her and shielding she came up with. Once you folks figured out that it was 
based off some old rust tech though that was that i didn't even think that worked as well as i thought your people only communicated communicated through song you know damn beautiful any other questions What will happen if we win this? I don't know. I really don't. Oh shit. That's all. We will win this, Speakerson. We don't have a choice. if I just go to launch does this still have business try not to leave any designated areas Alright Oz, the ship is mostly automated. Its tunnels meant weren't meant for living creatures. Okay. Oh that was that's everything. Okay, so what do I need to do then? Not entirely sure what I'm supposed to do. Rest? Okay, rest. Okay. Come up to the bridge, Speakerson. I have something for you. Okay. How do you like it? I'd make some modifications so that Valduin could fly it. I've named it the Apocalypse. A bit fire happy, but it you deserve it. The weapons were after a ship? No, the children couldn't put a dent in anything wrestler normally. I think this is infuriating them. They used their abilities to sneak into Mentorellism and looted thousands of artifacts. This sword is capable of removing myriad protections and wrestlers have, rendering them mortal. Instead, they just locked their planet up so no one could use it. Children, petty little bastards. So why is the fighter factory into this? Where does the fighter factory? You know where we're from? We fought. We've had interest in landings a long time. Neither are the key. This is irrelevant now. The point of the key lightning shield is simple. All I need is a ship that belongs. We are to unlock the light shield landings. They're fleet packed not to mention. We're not going to unlock it. Man, I wish I could keep up. The light shield on the planet went down as soon as the fighter entered its galaxy, went down for a fair amount. But then... I don't know what's going on here. Oh yes, I think they're familiar with landings. With the shield down, they're going to jump at the chance of loot. Who's they? Everyone. Get space side. Okay. I am lost. Awesome. Love it. I guess that's pretty typical with this game. Okay. We'll just launch. 
And I'll just go fight some baddies, I guess. I don't know. I don't really know what's going on. It's a free-for-all within the Union trying to keep people off this planet. You'll have to run the blockade and probably contend with every fighter and small cruiser everywhere can spare. Everyone everywhere can spare. That's a lot of uh, ships right there. There's a silver lining to this. This is the only the children's ship that are still able to land on the planet safely. Once you're docked, you won't be able to worry. You won't have to worry. Anything I'm aiming for. I haven't been to landings in centuries, but there was a, a vault. I suppose it contained the greatest treasure and artifact. That's where we're aiming for. That's where the sword is. And this sword will let us kill Rust Lords? Exactly. Okay. Alright. Get ready. This is going to be a battle to remember. Uh, hold on. I have questions. Ask them quickly. We're still spinning space duck here. What is this sword exactly? Artificers would know this, but there's tales and ledges of ancient items that can manipulate the fabric of reality itself. Heroes and villains of old would use them to split apart the seas, stop times, and more. I use it. I used to not believe. In my time as landings, I witnessed the children take catalog of hundreds of these swords, vaulted away for safekeeping in their eyes. It was only years later that I realized who made them, most of them and why they were so important. I bet you had a sword like that. It could open and close jump bolts. And I've heard Trike Star's blade held similar powers over the one life and death. I guess they hold certain mythical quality for a reason. Nevertheless, the one we're after is much more powerful than any washers claim. Much more powerful. Anything else? This ship seems like a risk for the children and me. They don't think like us, Cardoz. They don't think like anyone. The children are monsters. They claim that, while not a hive mind, every one of them believes and acts the same way at the same time, in perfect synchronization. Because they are perfect in their minds. Okay. In reality, they've used a lot of peer pressure and other disgusting tactics to force people into line. But they've been doing it for so long now that the idea of going against the popular vote was unthinkable. Alright. That's why Dev Kamal was able to shame them so thoroughly. Shame one, he shamed them all. It also leads to major flaws in their security. Any member of their fox species wide cult would never think about sedation, so every member has full access to the planet, and their orbital defenses won't blow you out of the sky. Anything else? Let's end this. Let's go shopping. Head to planet landings. Remember, you need to find the weapon vault and retrieve the sword. I'll come pick you up when you do. Do I just fly past this shit, I guess? Union Axe Head, Sun's High Cruiser, Sun's High Cruiser, and Union Axe Head. Hey, Cardoz. Come to loot the planet, Freon. Freon, I'm one of the most wanted men in the galaxy. You should be talking to me. 
Anyway, the lads and I were gonna have to go looting landings, but the Union dragged out the whole big planetary shield generator. I've never seen this kind of thing before. Crazy, huh? Nobody's getting in while that thing's up, though. But it hasn't stopped a few folks from trying. I didn't even realize pirates had battleships. Got it? Okay, so is there more than one? Must be. So Creon is still green with us, so he's not like hostile. Is that another one? It looks like it's another one. Sure, you just shoot at it. Should be fine. Yeah. center just all of it okay so that's two of them i'll be quick about it that is fire you the union's fleet's running out of pirates to shoot at all oh. shield generator Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, shit, shit. Planetary generator. It seems like something Rust Lords would think up. No, please drop the bomb. No. I don't know what the hell just happened here. What is this? What is this? Do I just fly into it? That was the wrong thing to do. Well, lesson learned. Don't fly into a planet. You will blow up. Shit. Shit. Well, I'm just gonna fucking bum rush it and just go and blow up these things right away. 
That sucks. That sucks. That was stupid. That was really stupid. No, nope, lesson learned. Probably a lesson I didn't need to learn. Probably should have just known that. So I wonder why Creon is like not hostile with us. Easy lemon squeezy. to shoot that. I guess I'll drop a few better measures. gonna fly into it this time. Is there like a docking ring somewhere here? Oh. Okay. What is this? Those are buildings. Wow. What a battle. Here for some good weapons too, Cardos. Freon, you? Planetary defense? Oh, this isn't my first time to landings. I always told my sister. Never forget the position of orbital saturation mortals. Mortars. Easy to dodge if you know the trick. Anyways, you're not coming. Mind if I look around? I've been meaning to take a new piece of heavy equipment. 
you you go ahead, Creon. Suit yourself. He hasn't changed a bit, I see. Lorne, where am I going? The central building, if memory serves me right. All of my family is accounted for, yet here you are, flying one of our fighters. Tell me, Speakerson, did you mean to drag the population of the galaxy along with you, or was it simply vistitude? Unknown. Mysterious individual. It doesn't matter. I won't tolerate the Union picking up this world apart. I've sealed the planet once more. Find me, and perhaps I shall unseal it. Okay. Not really much I can do other than just move around, so. I'm going to head towards the light. Sweet. weird type of elevator. Oops. I didn't take fall damage. That was a mistake. I might have to restart. I don't think this was supposed to happen. Shit. Shit. I don't think that was supposed to happen. Shit. I don't think that was a short time ago. Okay. Just have to get through some dialogue again. I will try not to fall off the platform this time. I was kind of just looking around. Okay, well. This game definitely moves really fast. But I'm wondering if it's just because I can't necessarily follow the dialogues to a T, so. But. Interesting for sure. There's a lot of, a lot of different things going on. kind of trying to remember who Creon was. I thought he was a member of the Star Chasers. A part of the UHC. I don't know. I thought so. Okay, we're going to the central building. Just get tossed up right here. Let's go. 
Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Here we go. Find the mysterious individual. Wish you could like run or sprint or something. That'd be cool. Okay, we will not fall off this time. Can I save? Do a quick save. Salt on landing. This is the mission title. Not much of an assault. It's like the exterior is like a bit of assault. again. All right, what the hell is that? It has been centuries since I laid eyes on another being, but I knew the time would come. What has spurred you to come here? Revenge, fortune, something far more deserved. I'm here to claim that sword. Sword? You think it's a weapon? It's a pin, isn't it? Pin, yes. An appropriate name for it. But I wasn't had to hesitate to call it a weapon. Tell me, Speakerson, is your ancestor lied to himself with the Rust Lords? Why haven't you? They killed my men and ruined me. I was always told a to grudge nothing ever changes. The same kind of that spread ancestors to arm you against us. You're one of the children. Call ourselves together, but yes, many ways, one of the children. I'm a toner. I'm the one who stayed behind to wait and watch, waiting to watch you. Me? Or someone like me? Is there a difference? The race would define itself by roles. One who came along would pin itself. But I digress. You see a way to kill a Rust Lord, and their onslaught of the galaxy. Are you going to stop me? On the contrary, as I said, I wish to watch you. On the safe now, someone who great interest. In. I'm gonna have to go back and like rewatch this to just catch everything. It kind of sucks that I have to miss everything. I kind of get the gist of what's going on, I guess. It's a big sword. Take me with you. I shall grant you a possessorship of the pin and let you off the planet. Why do you want to come with me? You are the heir of the speaker and the one who stopped and shamed our entire race. You have an air of destiny about you and you've come to claim the greatest tool of the rustlers. More importantly, I wish to observe you and how you interact why? To learn. I've tried to do so from the other surface of this planet, but that's no longer a viable option. Are you going to accept my offer or not? Who are you exactly? The speaker had shamed and stopped, shop, stopped us for the first time ever, so it was agreed that the least one of our numbers should remain to wait for him question you may call me the atoner i am a retrification for my people and an alternative measure while my family returned home 
I stayed behind. I have been waiting for you for a very long time, and now I wish to leave with you. I am not the speaker. You are his descendant. You fight like him, and for causes he himself might fight for. You embody him more than any Valduin statue could, and as such, you will do. Why? Did I, didn't I already ask him why he wanted to come with me? Yeah. He wants to observe this. Why can't I simply take the pin for myself? Because it's mine, as is this planet. You mean, it's the Rust Lord's? Is the forger an object its master? Is the forger of an object its master? No. Ownership is the domain of the holder. It is my vault built by my race on my planet. And I hold its only key. And yet, my use for it is limited. Yours is not. I do not believe you can kill me, even if you desire to. So, your only option is to accept my offer. I do believe it can be a mutual, mutually beneficial. What is the pin? It is a pin, a needle sanctioned to affect the forces of Abyssin and Hyprin. It punctures, it breaks, but it can mend and knit just the same. Truth be told, there are many like it. The low key, all frame drives, the arcane nature behind them all is the same. And this one, however, is unique. It's larger, stronger, and unfinished. But it can kill Rust Lords? No. The Rust Lords at their apex immunize themselves against the pestilences that our time and death. The pin merely reverses that protection. It cannot kill them, but it can allow them to die. Hence why you need it. What do you know about the Rust Lords? The trio you oppose are all that remains of them. The three fortunate survivors of a war that died in the background of space and endless black and split open the sky. S split the sky open. They have had their hand in the countless number of civilizations across the galaxy, and all have ended with them annihilating each and every one. The man you travel with is entrenched in this world view, which the Rust Lords violate in most entertaining way. To him, power must be protect. It must guide and nurture like a parent or the sons above. Truth is rarity, rarely so benign. And as many countless to die, dead lie in the wake of the Rust Lords, their motives are not what you think they are. Their bigger picture, which your ancestors ended up seeing as well. Regardless, you were determined to destroy them and cons their conspiracy. And so am I determined to watch you do it. Okay. One of the children. Like, everyone was, like, disgusted by the children, or at least, like, like afraid of them, it seemed. Just like a floating tentacle monster. You can come. I will observe, but I will limit my interference. The Union still holds a grunge against my people. The Light Shield will let us pass from this side. Let us leave immediately. Oh shit. I guess I missed some dialogue. Shit. Oops. 
I'd rather not have my first space flight in centuries be ended very maturely, if you don't mind. Shit. We need the same. It's a planetary defense system, one that takes a very long time to charge. Once we leave the system, it won't be much help. Nevertheless, it won't be disabled for long. Please hail your friend and let's leave. Shit. Stars above. Did you run the blockade or fry it? That would be my doing. Cardoz, mind explaining your new friend? He insists to come along. He wasn't able to pin the sword without agreeing to take him with it. Fine. I'll take the help I can get. Now before the fleet comes back online. After you, Speakerson. I'm trying. He's not letting me dock here. Here we go. Repair our ship. Oh. Come to the bridge when you're done. We need to discuss the battle plans. Okay. A lot of dialogue in the last couple of frickin' bit here. We have the sword, we have the ship, we have another ally. It's time. I am merely a, com a commentator and observer. A successful defeat is independent of my own. I forgot much, how I hated you. The feelings mutual, Lorne. So they know each other. What do we do? How do they know each other? We can't just fight our way to the Constellarium. There's no fleet left for me. To what? Eight? We surrender. Convince them to meet us to hear our terms, then we use the sword on them. That's insane. They never just put themselves out there like that. Our leader, Aurelium, will negotiate. You have my word. Why would he agree at that? All his fighting wrestlers, suddenly they'll just want to give up? Aurelian obsessed with the speaker and your family. Why? What's this role in all this? Because you're important in a strange way. He cares about you more than he lives all the people of Croft. He doesn't know about the pin, though. Yeah. Not so much. We agreed on negotiations. He expects subterfuge, but he is confident you won't harm him. And his pin won't rustler stop the rustler from shapeshifting? A single arc from it would force any rustler to assume their default shape. When we got our plan, all that is left for you, Dakardos, is to hail our Rarion when you're ready. Lords of Croft, confront the Rust Lords. This is it, Cordaz. This is what centuries of planning and all this war has been leading to. The Atoner says we might be making a mistake, that there's a bigger picture we're not seeing. This is the bigger picture, Cardoz. You know it. I know it. You've seen it. Are you ready in this now to clear your name? To be the traitor prince again? No. They murdered my convoy just because they were simple. Uh, they were in a simple the wrong place. Exactly. 
They can do anything, kill anyone, and nobody will stop them. I don't care what Raiders game they're playing. It's not worth it. The people in charge have to be better. They have to be held accountable, and nobody else is willing to hold them accountable. This isn't about revenge. This is about putting the Union into the hands of the people, not gods. When you're ready, outfit your ship for battle, and then contact Aurelian. I have questions. It's pretty clear where this is leading to, but fine. What got you worried? What happens when we kill them? The Union isn't able to exist without the Rust Lords, then it doesn't deserve to exist. But I feel like everything is... Everything is represents... It's stronger than its creators. It'll be up to us from now on. Because that's how it always should have been. What happens to you? To us? When we kill them? Ideally, we sue for peace. Get pardoned even. I'm hoping the conspiracy that surrounds the Rust Lords will, rea will realize that it'll be in their best interest to let us live. Especially once we take down their gods. Le duties. One way or another, this all ends. Is this not it? Is this like Aurelian Cardoz? You said trust rewarded, but two way street? Zet tried to kill me once. I want your guarantee. You'll have to be more specific. If we meet, it's one of those not our lackeys. Children reparated doesn't work against Rustler Cardoz. Whatever you found on the landing this isn't going to work, so don't try anything. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wash this back. Are you going to hear us out or not? I'll send you coordinates. The Constellarium will meet you there. If Lauren turns himself in, I'll grant you amnesty and pardon. You have my word. That's not much. It's more than you might think, Cardoz. So that's it then. Into the jaws of the beast we go. We've got a couple of hours before we arrive, Cardoz. Try to get some rest. Impressive, right? First time I've ever seen the wrestler tech that doesn't amatomize you, so I suppose. Didn't always make war machines, Deb Mikkel. Time when something, something beautiful was common. I wish it didn't end like that, it had. They used to say we should go out with fighting, but look where it got us. The only thing the universe ever dig up is our own bullets and landmines. Perhaps it's better dying out or simply ceasing to care about anything. You weren't simply there. You didn't see what happened. I did. I never stopped caring. I never stopped looking. Not until you. I'm the one kind like that. Sometime I wish to take you seriously. I mean, thousands of lifetimes, yet you're the first. It would be a secret if I told you. If I had to figure it out yourself. Ah, I never get it. I suppose at this point it's enough to help you, though. Still, just, just can't believe it. For the first time in billions of years. Ascension. What the fuck is going on here? So it was a dream? We have arrived. I'm assuming that was a dream of speaker? 
You going to help fight? No. I'm here to watch. I am a speakerson, you know. I could shame you into doing what I want. Yes, I'm well aware of your ancestral history. I was there. Right. I'm not really the scolding type. You'll be surprised what we are when we have to be. Either way, I appreciate that. Refuse help from me? To speak to him on civil terms is his loyal speech. I am told he hoped he'll have more to say. What did you just say? I had hoped that he would teach us. To survive the Battle of Cardas, perhaps to fight alongside you. For now, good luck. Man, I wish I could keep up sometimes. Get to your ship. Shit's going down. Shit is going down. Let's uh, maybe go to the equipment dealer first. Stock up. Nope, we're good. Yep, let's go. Let's go. Let's do this. I thought we were like turning ourselves in. Damn. UNS Marching Star. We've come to discuss terms of surrender. As well, you should. Your fleet is gone. Your generals. You know exactly who they are. Your generals are dead or destroyed. You bring nothing to bargain with to the table. All you have done is proven that the Union is stronger than any force that would bring her down. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Watch me do it by myself. By all means, you should be arrested, tried, and executed for extragalactic terrorism and statewide sabotage. But we're willing to accept terms of your surrender. We will not discuss terms of your surrender. The terms of your surrender are thus. You will turn over any remaining ships, weapons, and technology you possess, as well as the plans and knowledge of their operation. You will not be held accountable for possessing technology that violates Union law. You will agree to an immediate ceasefire with all Union vessels and output, and be placed under arrest until such time that non-lethal punishment can be decided. Finally, you will turn over Cardo Speakerson to the Union authorities for trial. Man. Give up everything and get put in Union Maximum Security Prison for life. Sounds like a plan. Every ship in my fleet primed and ready to fire. This isn't a bargain. These are the terms. Well, here's my counter up. This isn't a. You blowing something up? Gardas, now! Use the pin. Am I supposed to do something here? Shit. Anytime now. All units, the Marching Star has been hit by some sort of energy weapon. Prepare. The fuck did I just do? General, something's happened to the consortium. 
What the fuck? UNS victory or death. This, you, Unioners, behold your constellarium. Behold what's manipulating us since the birth of our nation. Unioners, behold the Rust Lords. Fine. No more hiding. No more giving you leeway because of Rillian's obsession. That weapon of yours won't change anything. You've come to good faith, but you want Rust Lord Speakerson? You'll get Rust Lords. Dun dun dun! Okay. Holy shit. Rust Drone? You should have kept your head down. Destroying the convoy. Shit, I didn't read that. Shit, I don't know what I'm doing. This isn't easy. I have to sit through all that dialogue again? Yeah. Damn it. So. Shit. Um. I don't know what I'm supposed to do there. I'm gonna try just flying straight to one of the Rust Lords and just try shooting at him. I don't know. It seemed pretty hopeless, man. Like, I don't know, man. Like, I don't know what the shit was like blowing up was. Yeah, I don't know. I wish I could skip this now. And I don't really want to sit through all this. Hopefully I can save once we are done this dialogue. <coughs> Damn, man. I went down pretty fast. I don't know if this is the last fight. Like, if this is supposed to be the last fight, I'm not upgraded. Like, my ship is not nearly upgraded enough. If this is the last fight. We'll try it anyways. We will try it anyways. Okay, let's go. Let's go.
Got him. Okay, come on, let's move on here. Behold what's been manipulating you since the birth. Union years, behold the consortium, behold the Rust Lords. And they just blew up Lauren's ship, it seems. Is that what just happened? Change anything. If you want the Rust Lords, speak us in. Just head towards. Oops. Era. The five five hundred thousand health. So we'll just head straight for her. You have shit your head down, Cardoz. Destroying your convoy was an accident. But you just keep pushing. Keep going further and further. I don't like the sound of that. Like, I can't avoid that. Whatever the hell is that damage is. Like, there was no avoiding that. Damn, man. Found out about us. You think the power we wield, the consortium, just won't let us go? Can I save? Nope. I'm probably dead. One of your damn compatriots. Why is X not working? What is going on? Shit. I'm probably dead here. Yep. We founded the Star Chasers. We made the Union. God damn it, dude. I'm gonna have to sit through all that dialogue again. I don't know if I can do this. Honestly. But, like, there's nothing I can do. It's not like there's better. Shh. I'm so confused. Like, how am I supposed to update my ship? There's, like, no access to any other thing here, so I don't get it. Man, I'm gonna have to, like, this takes, like, five fucking minutes to get through. Boy, oh boy. This sucks. I wonder if this is the last mission. The, uh, children guy made it seem like it wasn't. Obviously, there's only two of them here. So, Aurelian is obviously gonna be the final boss. This is gonna be rough, dude. I don't know how to stop, like, that, uh... Whatever that countdown thing is where I get, like, notif- like, the, the warning for. What am I supposed to do? I don't know how to stop getting hit with that. Like, I don't even know what I'm getting hit by, to be honest. This sucks, man. I just wish I could skip this.
Come on. Let's go. I do not know how I am going to make it past this. Shit. Honestly don't know if my ship's good enough right now. Like I definitely have like not very high upgrades right now. Like my shields are like half the class they can be. The guns aren't are not fully outstocked. What did I just do? Friend drive. Interesting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, well, I got a friend drive, so maybe that'll help. Counter Torben. Maybe he will help. I don't know. Damn, man. How am I gonna freaking beat this? I would like to know what's actually hitting me. Okay, see, the friend drive does not last very long. Okay, let's try not to die. Damn. Can't save. Go for fair again. I do not know what I need to avoid. Hopefully I can use enough countermeasures here to avoid damage. Hopefully I don't run out by the end of the uh, fight here. Try to use them somewhat sparingly. Halfway down this guy. Shit. Holy hell. Yeah, I don't necessarily know how I'm supposed to avoid something I don't even know what's hitting me, to be honest. Like, I don't feel like I have the ability to stop getting hit by that. I don't even know what it is. Okay, a thousand left. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. I almost got this one. He's dead. He's dead. I've had it all after this. We've done the union. This is how you repay us. Got, I've got this guy down. Holy hell. 
Molly Burr. Interesting. I didn't make it through the war that split the sky just to die by some half-wit fighting along the cost's cause. You think that device is enough to take us down? It took missiles that would crack open the stars straight to the face. Well, you're gonna take some uh, laser bullets and uh, we'll see how that does. Holy fuck. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to actually kill this guy. I wasn't paying attention. Okay. Shit. So awkward. The movement's so awkward. I can't really tell how he's moving. Okay, I have 45 countermeasures left. I'm just gonna keep spamming fucking countermeasures everywhere I fly. Hopefully, that's enough. Damn, I am I even doing damage? I'm not even hitting him. What's going on? Yeah, I'm not doing any damage. What's... Okay, now I sort of did. So the hitbox is weird. Where do I hit? top of the head here so not the body I have to hit the tail here understood almost there we're about halfway there halfway there Just stay alive Just stay alive Holy shit. Come on. This is like really dizzying. We're almost there. We're almost there. 200,000. Come on. Come on. Come on. Just stay in range. Just stay in range. That's all I gotta do. Shit, 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 shit. Don't wanna get hit by the laser beams there. Hundred and fifty thousand. Come on, we're almost there. Come on, come on. One twenty. One twenty. We're almost at one twenty. Here we go. Here we go. Damn, yeah, man. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit, let's not get killed stupidly here. 70,000. We're almost there. Holy fuck, we're almost there. Oh my goodness. I'm getting lazy. Stop fucking getting lazy here. Let's let's get this done. Let's get this done. He's almost dead. Oh my goodness. Gotta keep going. Gotta keep moving. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. 30,000. Come on, let's not die stupidly here. His movement is so awkward. Holy shit. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. You dead. You dead. Okay. Frickin' hell. The axle. It's done. It is done. Well, that's the two of them, not all of them. Are they dead? They're destroyed. As for what happens next? Cardoz Speakerson, surrender by order of the consortium. We still have orders to take you alive, you me what huh what do you want huh 
whatever you just did will open fire. You sure? Fleet, stand down. That's an order. General Zet? General, we have our orders from the Constellarium. Consortium, sorry. Look, what just happened, man? The Consortium are Rust Lords. Rust Lords that Speakerson just killed. Damn right. Damn fucking right. Rust Lords that admitted to killing my convoy. We. Uh. Der, uh. You want to check with the Admiralty? I gave you a direct order, Captain. Think about the bigger picture. What, now Zet's all of a sudden on our side? Standing down, General. Roger that. All ships, I want you to clean up duty and civilian management. Whatever just happened, the Union comes first. I feel like General Zet is Aurelian. In the meantime, Cardos Speakerson, we need to talk. I swear that General Zet is Aurelian. This was a mess. Just a damn mess. What happened at the Consortium gone? There's no congenesis. For now, the Union's fate is in the hands of the Generals and Admirals. Isn't that convenient? Whatever you're implying, stop. The Union's chaos right now. Consortium is dead and people have been told the leaders and ancient spiritual space giants. Yep. Giants you knew about. I'm going to guess most high command roster knew. Blue and you forces for air to shapeship the rest. Where's Aurelian's at? I don't know. You don't know or you don't want to expose your master. My loyalty is the Union, whatever the best for it. Right now, the best thing is a strong sense of unity. No matter who may not to be alive, I answer to no one. This is the High Command really just trying to take the galaxy safe or is bury the hatchet, okay? What happens to me? Right now, people see you as a hero or a madman. You commit treason, and a lot of men friends are gone because of you. You exposed the Consortium. You destroyed the Consortium. Whatever happens to the Union now, it's on your own terms, not theirs. People won't forget that. The truth is, I don't know what will happen to you, and you're one piece of an enormous puzzle made chaos. That's why we issued a full pardon and arranged transport back to Vuldric. Yeah, dude, this is... that's generous. Your lawyer is convincing. I think he's waiting for you outside. No, please. I have a work ahead of me. I swear that's Aurelian. That motherfucker's Aurelian. Cardaz arranged transport for us. The taxi waiting you in the docking bays. So we can repair our ship. I've got some liquor, and you've got a lot to talk about. Wait. See you there. I'll be on the bridge. Something bad's about to happen, I think. Take me to my lawyer's transport. Can do. Glam aboard. Cardoz. Or is Carbell Aurelian? Bell, you're not in prison for helping me, I see. You, just a man I just. 
It's been all over the news. It's insane. I had to look up the facts from the Rust Lords for seven hours straight. You actually killed them. Uh-huh. You saw that, eh? People all along the axle were filming it. They confessed to it, and various officials being grounded. Not all of them. You realize that means right. You got proof you wanted, Cardoz. You could negotiate this in some sort of reason, and go back to being a traitor. Yes, you could go to your house position back and everything. Get your house position back. I'll think about it. There's a lot I have to think about now. And plenty of time to think about it on the way back. Transports are always slow. One thing bothers me. No? There were three Rust Lords. I only ever fought two. The third consortium member. That'll be Zarent Zenhar. We're staying. She was a part of the inner circle. So where's Aurelian? He's the leader of the Rust Lords and we've never part of the consortium. I mean, it makes sense to me at least. I only caught like half of that. Think about it. If you're con superpower and you're just asking for an attack on all three of them, if I was Aurelian, I would have stayed safer. Rust Lord, part of the consortium to keep them safe. I would un uncover something nondescript. Do you have something that gives me enough power and resources to accomplish my goals? Under confidence supervision. Or a lawyer. Yeah. Yeah, I, I kind of... Shit. There we go. Told you, Cardoz. I hope one day you'd see the bigger picture. Where is the ship going? Well, shit. What? What have you done? Unlike Lauren, I don't need machines or a sword to warp here. Spending a few centuries in hyperspace will do that. Her bell. You know, that's not my real name, Cardoz. <laughs> the galaxy's too far gone. Fair and Moldier's death are unusual, but I can't have civilization consistently. Carbell. Damn it, man. Alright, let's. You'd be safe. Appreciate this. Lauren screwed you. You don't have to do this. I'm sorry, I do. The bigger picture of things going on. You know where you are. Goodbye, Cardoz. Be a long time before we see each other. Carbell, get back here. Get back here, you. Aurelian, you son of a bitch. Find a way out of hyperspace. Center of the sun. Speak. Baker son. Damn it, man. Lorne, you just died. The Rust Lords killed you. My mind. Ship. Spread out bits of my mind. Hard to think. Hard to... Aurelian is still out there. He's going to destroy the galaxy. You have to help me. Locking damps. Your ship. Still here. Probably. It damn well better be. I release. Come.
Ah, oh, boy. Aiding. Need to conserve. Rebuild. Yep. Shit. It's not helping, Lorne. It's core. Bigger. On the inside. Star core is bigger on the inside. He will go there. He will use the core. He will end it all. You know this place better than anyone. Where do I go now? Where do I reach? Lorne? Here. Alright. Let's, uh, let's try uh, killing this last boss. Okay, well, I think this is it. They know they're activating defenses. Do I care about these things? Like, am I supposed to fight those? Here, it is. Here. Where? Lauren, what do I do? How do I get out? Use. Use what? Sword. The pin. It's not just a pin. Use. Use the pin. Use the pin. Well, shit, I don't want to die. Stupidly. Which I essentially am going to do because I'm not paying attention. Dude. So I have to fight these guys then, because I cannot. I'm gonna die. Yeah, something tells me that my ship is definitely not strong enough to be at this point in the game. Like, I definitely missed out on... Whoa, what the hell? Missed out on a lot of... No way. Do not tell me that. Where is this save? Please do not flee where I think it is. Yeah, I don't think the ship that I have is like, it's not outfitted enough. Has really low level guns, has low level shields. Please. Okay, okay, we're fine. We're fine. I have to go through some dialogue. It's not the end of the world. We don't have to go through it all. We can just go here. And I'm gonna look into... I think you can make this... A 
Assign item to quick slot. What is quick slot? Quick slot. Is that what that is right there? Here it is. Here. Oops. on what damn it man like I can't to see and I'm not a fan of the light fighter it's so twitchy it's kind of really hard to aim because it's so fast holy shit man yeah really would like a heavy fighter right now This thing is so fast. I am like, I can't control it. Damn. Fuck. Launchers left. Damn it. Wasted that. Come on. Got him. Shit. 
You did. Finally. Okay. Well. He waits at the core. I'll come back for you, Lorne. I swear. No rush. Heh. Heh. All right. Well, here's the, uh... And I'll be all fight here, I guess. Is this Baldwin? This is Akata, processing, broadcasting a frequency to all ships in the area, evacuate immediately. The core has gone haywire. There's a Rust Lord. Ardo Speakerson, Star Chaser. Which way did you go? Somehow faded into the core, like there's a strange entryway into it. Whatever it's done, our radiation levels are spiking. Oh. He is destroying the universe? Or the galaxy, it seems? I am completely out of full heals. I might have not been supposed to attack the fighters there. I don't know. I kind of a little worried that I'm underprepared here. go can't save enter the gateway at ship stars core ship star so I think the lore is that we're inside the remnants of an ancient ship so big that they use this a sun as a core of the ship and that's all this shit around here I guess is just scrap you do you understand what you're doing now? Uh, not really. I could uh, use a hand, you know. You're about to use the pin to enter the inner workings of Shipstar. Its core, strange, folded, twisted, and using hyperanctic sciences my people can never hope to master. Okay. I cannot join you in there, Cardoz. No one can. You will be all by yourself. I. Right. I'll be facing my best friend. Who's a rust lord. That's fine. This is personal. Be safe, Speakerson. Yeah. Sure. Still can't save. Let's see how this goes. Chip Star's core, deep space. I knew you'd come to stop me, Cardoz, but.
You tell me one thing, you bastard. Is he dead because of some sick purpose in my life? Cardoz. It was an accident. You know it was. I'm assuming they're talking about the death of his brother? I don't know anything anymore. Where's the real Carbell? Was there ever a real Carbell? What the hell do you want with me? I've always been who I said I was, Cardoz. I'm your friend. And how does that tie into the speaker? This Amel was also a friend. Game saved. All right. Well, seeing as the game saved. I think that's where we're going to call it right now, and uh, next time, it looks like we'll, we'll be ending things off. Fighting Aurelian as as Carbell. Shit just got real. Wow. Definitely a lot of shit just went down in the last couple of episodes, and uh, I think we're we're uh, rearing the, confu the, uh, the conclusion to this, uh, this story here. Um, shit. Okay, well, see you next time on Wrench Feels Like Playing. If you like what you see, feel free to drop a like and subscribe. It would really help a lot. Peace.